Small dogs are usually some of our hardest patients. A small dog that's starved to death and having other secondary problems too was the beginning of a very long journey. When Milo arrived at Lollipop Farm a couple days before Christmas, he was wrapped in a blanket. And when that blanket was unwrapped, I saw the skinniest, saddest little patient I've ever seen in 20 years. He was a canine skeleton with a heartbeat. His eyes were soft and sweet, and he was hours from death. We stabilized Milo with IV fluids and supportive care, and he did okay for that first day. He would lift his head for pets and for food, and then on day two, things took a turn for the worse. Milo began to show symptoms of acute hemorrhagic diarrhea syndrome, which is where he was basically bleeding out from his intestines. He was lethargic and his body temperature didn't even register on our thermometer. His already fragile body was now quickly losing blood. We knew that his only chance at survival was a blood transfusion. Blood transfusions are not something that we do routinely here at Lollipop Farm in our clinic, so we actually depended on the help of a lot of outside people to get us through this. We needed a blood donor for Milo, and fortunately at home I had two big dogs, one of which is very unstressed out coming to the shelter, and so I brought her in to donate her blood to Milo. Milo's blood transfusion was an intense process. We had to monitor Milo's vitals, his heart rate, his temperature to make sure his body was accepting the blood. In the middle of his transfusion, his color was getting better, his head was lifting up, and a little bit after his transfusion ended, he wanted to eat. He needed 24-7 care due to his precarious state. And so I took Milo home with me that night and under the guidance of Dr. McNamara, we got him through those first few days and he stayed with me during and after Christmas. Over the chaos of the holidays, Milo was unable to move. He was unable to join in the action but he followed our every action with his eyes. I'd like to think that my family gave him a reason to fight. He was with people that loved him very much. While Milo was having his ups and downs, I was having my fair share of ups and downs. I felt like he had come so far and I still wasn't sure at times that he was gonna make it. Sometimes it felt like one step forward, two steps back. In the big picture, he was improving. He started to sit and used the muscles in his legs, and he actually took his first steps a couple days after New Year, and that's when I knew he was gonna be okay. You can do it. Milo still has a long road ahead of him. When Milo came to us, he weighed five pounds, and today he weighs 9.2 pounds, and he's still underweight. So he's in a holding pattern of gaining weight until he is healthy enough to have his surgery and be ready for adoption. As Milo continues his recovery, we here at Lollipop Farm know how important our community support is. And without you, we would not be able to help patients like Milo and other animals in our community that need care.